guys about how I'm doing NaNoWriMo, and then I want to do the AuthorTube newbie tag with you guys. So first things first, I haven't updated a NaNoWriMo page since like this past Wednesday? Let's see, when was the 16th? So I haven't updated it since last Tuesday. Um, I, I don't have an updated word count as of right now just because I haven't been working as much on the computer as I have just like writing, like jotting notes and stuff down. I keep changing the order of how I want my story and like how I want the scenes to unfold. So I keep kind of just like jotting down little bits here and there. Um, honestly, I probably haven't made a whole lot of progress. Part of me is kind of like, oh, I want to scrap it and just start with this other new project that I started like jotting down the other day that I really like. I don't know. If anything, I will say that NaNoWriMo has definitely got me more motivated to work. So if even if I don't win at this point, I'm okay with that. I've kind of accepted defeat at this point just because we're on day 22 now and I'm still technically logged at like 16,000 words. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys posted for next week. But this week I want to do the author newbie tag. I watched Claire Reed's books do it and then I saw Jenna the Dark One do it. So I watched hers and hers has like the actual list of questions in the description box. So we're going to start with that. Question number one, how did you find out about AuthorTube? I saw Claire Reed's books do it, and I'll link her below if you guys want to check her out. What genre do you write in? Um, it kind of just depends what I've been most recently motivated by. Um, when I first started writing, it was very like contemporary realistic fiction, and now it's kind of developed more into like sci-fi, supernaturally kind of thing, so it really just depends on my mood and what I'm writing. Question three, what is your preferred writing tense point of view and category of story? So preferred writing tense, I don't know, I go back and forth with trying to write in first in person and then third person narrative. So it really, like I've been trying to, I, I'm most comfortable writing in third person narrative, but I've really been trying to branch into like writing first person because I think there's a lot you can do with first person and I think it's a really interesting way to write, but it's also a very hard tense to write in. Um, point of view, I really like, um, I've read a lot of really cool stories where it like switches point of view back and forth between main characters and I really like that. Um, so I've kind of explored that in a few of my stories, but I haven't exactly gotten it to pan out the way that I want quite yet, but I really like doing point of views that way. Just stop. And category story, I mostly write YA stuff. I haven't really tried to branch into adult fiction. Um, I've tried to do a few children's novels, but I'm not really a artist, so I can write the story, but as far as illustrations go, I'm kind of like, eh. Number four, are you a plotter, pantser, or a planter? Um, when I first started writing, I hated planning. I hated when people were like, oh, you should do like a, a plan and all that stuff. I hated that. I just wanted to like get into it and start writing. And the more that I write now, the better I like move forward if I actually have like an outline and I have more stuff like developed before I really get into the story. So I'd, I'd say I'm a planter at this point because even if I outline, I definitely still kind of veer off of it sometimes and go my own direction. So number five, are you self-published, published, or yet to be published? I would say yet to be published. I have a blog that I post every once in a while, but and then I also have a couple things on Wattpad, um, but other than that, yet to be published. Number six, what publishing company, literary, agent, or printing company are you represented by or use, or if not yet published, what is your dream publishing house or literary agent? I don't know, like I don't, I'm not picky, like I would, I would love to be published obviously, so if it was a good publishing house that I worked well with, I think any of them would probably be great. There's tons of them out there and they're all amazing, I'm sure. Number seven, what authortube related videos can we expect to find on your channel? Um, I'm definitely still gonna be doing like crafty DIYs and like funny stuff and like other things, um, but I think it'd be really cool to start doing writing stuff because I mean, I love to write, I love doing these videos and I feel like that'd be a great combination of all my interests in one. So I don't know, I'm, I'm not really sure quite yet, but I would love to kind of incorporate writing into my channel more for sure. When did you start writing? Uh, probably since I could write. I remember in like kindergarten we did these little like self-publishing things where we like 
wrote a little story and then we had to like color in pictures and we like our teachers made a few copies and we actually like sold them at like a little like um like sale thing and it was really cute and I really loved it and I don't know I've just I've always loved writing I've always loved stories and like watching movies and television and just like seeing stories and like plot lines unfold and I think I just just something I've always been interested in number nine what was the first story you ever wrote the one the only one that I the one that I remember I guess was the one that I wrote for that kindergarten story um, I'm pretty sure it was about two sisters, but I, I, other than that, I don't remember what else happened, so... Don't know. Um, the first story I ever wrote that I really remember... I don't know, when I was in high school, I used to write a lot of stories, and they were very much, like, based on what was happening in my real life, but I would, like, ch like highly fictionalize what was happening and, like, change the names, obviously, and that kind of thing, so... If you read any of my earlier stuff and you know me, you probably know who it's about. Number 10. What authors have inspired your writing the most? Uh, probably all of them, I guess. I don't know. I really love Sarah Dessen. She's one of my favorites. I've loved her for years. I've read almost all of her books. Aggie Stiefvater's books, the Shivers series, I read like the whole thing. As soon as I started reading the first one, I like read them all in like a weekend. So I love her writing style. I love the way her characters are developed and all that stuff. Um, and I really love the way she sets up her novels with the character point of views. I thought that was really cool. Kiara Cass, um, the Selection series is like one of my favorites. And like not only like authors of like books and stuff, like but I love like screenplays and like plays. I mean there's so many like storylines and things that I've seen on television and stuff like that that I just love. And I think there's just so many people that write and there's so many storylines out there and there's I don't know, there's just so many things to be inspired by. Number 11, do you schedule your writing sessions or simply get to write whenever you can find the time? I would say whenever I can find the time. Um, pretty much, like, just whenever. Whenever I have free time, I try, and, like, if I'm doing something and, like, I get inspired, I'll, like, jot down notes and, like, um, like, the new idea that I started working on that I really am interested in now and I'm, like, trying to thoroughly outline so I can really like get through it and not like get part of the way through it and then get really confused about where I want to go. Um, but I've been like just jotting, I was sitting in the middle of a class talking about sci-fi stuff and I was like, wow, this would be a really cool idea and I just went to town. So like I'll just get like random ideas when I'm like doing stuff and I'm like, wow, that's really cool. And then I just kind of go from there. Number 12, do you type on a computer, typewriter, write everything out by hand or use a blend of those and where do you write in general? Um, I would say mostly on a computer, but I also feel like computers are very distracting for me. So, it's, I feel like I get a lot more done when I just write by hand, but I have terrible handwriting, so it's kind of like a, a, a win, I don't know. It doesn't work. I go back and forth. I'd say it's a blend of computer and actually writing it out. And basically, where do I write in general? Um, in my, in here, in my office, mostly, I would think. Um, but sometimes just wherever, wherever I am. Number 13. What are you most looking forward to now that you're a part of Author 2? Um, I think it'd be really cool to get to know some of the other Author 2 people and just kind of have, I feel like I'm very like motivated and I feel very inspired when I'm talking to people who are kind of doing the same thing I'm doing and kind of can like bounce ideas off of and like that kind of thing. So I think it'd be really cool to get to know more people who are in the same interests like that to work on and collab together and that kind of thing, so I think it'll be really fun and really inspiring to be a part of this community. I hope you guys have an amazing week, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Are you done barking? Are you done barking? Are you done barking? You've been barking this whole video. Yes, you have. I'll keep you updated on my NaNoWriMo progress. Right now it's kind of a stalemate, so we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll get this new idea off the ground, and maybe I'll catch up. Who knows? So I almost forgot the most important part of this tag video. If you're watching this video, boop, you're tagged. Do it. Comment down below. Leave me your link so I can check out yours. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye!